Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to make holiday designs using just a few brushes and layer styles. I've already pre-made all of the brushes and the layer styles. I'll go ahead and leave a link to everything that we're going to use in this video down below. If you'd like to see how I created the brushes and the layer styles, I can definitely do a walkthrough video for that as well. Uh, just go ahead and leave me comments if you're interested in seeing something like that. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so these are the designs that we're going to be creating. I have a wreath design, a tree, and let me turn that off. And then I also have this holiday text that we're going to be creating all with just one brush for the garland. And then I have another brush here, the snowflake or snow brush. And then I'm going to turn that this back on again. And then I'm also going to be giving you this uh, brush right here. It's the light, the glowing lights. So it's going to be the the lights brush and then I'll also give you the glowing layer style. And I'm here in a blank document. This is a 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel document. We're going to go ahead and start off with the background. I have uh, my background color here is 0688A0. That's going to be the background and then the foreground is just a plain white background or foreground I'm sorry F F F F F F all right we're just gonna make a glowing spotlight area right here so I'm gonna come over to the gradients I'm gonna make sure that I am on the radial gradient and we're using foreground and background color that's one of our defaults it's gonna be right here the very first one I'm gonna go ahead and find the center I'm just gonna click right here at the center and drag out to one corner just to get that nice spotlight effect. Now I'm going to come over to my adjustments and I'm going to add a pattern overlay to this. So we'll come over here. This is a pattern called wet snow and I got this at free transparent overlays something like that i'll leave a link down at the bottom so that you know where to grab this i'm going to take down the scale to 80 percent and click ok so this is what we're going to work with for the background now we're going to start with uh, creating the wreath uh, add another layer here and i'm going to come over to the shapes and i'm just going to get an ellipse and i'm going to start here at the center i'm going to hold down the shift and the option key and I'm gonna drag that out just so I know that I have this right in the center where it needs to be. And it doesn't matter the color and none of this stuff matters because we're not gonna use it in the design itself. We're actually just gonna use it to create a path. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the command or control key on the keyboard. When you see that little square come up, you can just click. That's gonna select that. And we're gonna come over to the paths. If you don't see it here, up here at window, and then just click on paths right there and that'll come up. We're gonna use this right here. This is our make a work path from the selection. So we have our selection and we're just gonna click here to create a work path from it. And we can close that off. I'm gonna add a new layer over top and I'm gonna come over to my brushes. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one, the pine, and we have our color set. Now this brush uh, uses the colors that you have set here. So whatever you have set up here is what's gonna actually come out in that design. So you wanna make sure that you have your color set before you start using the brush. I'm gonna bring this up. I'm just trying to get an idea of the size that we're going to be making this. So mine is going to be at 200. You can either use the pen tool or the direct selection tool for this. Make sure that you're in the new layer and not on the ellipse itself. Otherwise, this option won't be available for you. But you can right click and then choose stroke path again. This will be grayed out if you're on the actual ellipse. So you need to make sure that you're on a blank layer. And then click stroke path. In this new dialog box that came up, you want to make sure that your tool is brush and that you do not have simulate pressure checked. So make sure this is unchecked. Tool is brush. We'll click OK. And that is our first layer. I'm going to go ahead and turn off that ellipse layer. Um, so we have our, our first layer. We can hit the letter B on the keyboard and drop the size and then add another one if you like. 
uh, if you if you like the sparse look that we have going here then you can definitely use that so I'm gonna lower my brush size so I, my first one was one I'm sorry 200 this one is gonna be 100 and I'm gonna go ahead and just hit enter to add another there that's just I'm just thickening it up a little bit um, you can make it even bigger if you like so that's just going to give us a few layers there. You can also just duplicate uh, your very first one and move that around as well, or just leave it uh, simple. So I'm going to click off of that. So this is what we've got as far as our wreath. From here, I'm going to go ahead and add a bow. And uh, part of the reason I made this tutorial is, well, because it's the holiday season and also because I wanted to show you, I'm using uh, Photoshop 2020 and they've changed a few things. So we used to come over here. I'm going to go off topic a little bit because I wanted to show you the presets. But over here, you used to see all of the different presets for brushes, shapes, and all of that stuff. Uh, patterns, all that stuff was in here. It's not there anymore. So what I've realized is that they've put everything uh, here so if we come over to our shapes this is where you control your shapes now so the reason I'm showing you this is because before where you were able to come over here to our shapes and add and load shapes here that option is not available to you anymore you can import shapes from your computer and you can restore the defaults but all that's going to do is just give you this stuff all over again so if you want the shapes that you had in older versions of Photoshop you'll actually have to come through oops, uh, you'll actually have to come over here to shapes so if you, you come to windows you go to shapes and then you come here and this is going to be the same thing for patterns for styles for brushes all of that stuff is going to function in the same way so I wanted to show you this because a lot of my videos uh, show you how to load the default brushes, styles, shapes, and all of that in a different way, which is not available anymore. So from here, when you go over to windows and then you grab shapes and you open up this window here, then you'd come here to this little hamburger menu and then you can grab legacy shapes and more from here. This is the only place that you can do that, that I'm aware of. That just added my legacy shapes from 2019 shapes and then all of the other older shapes. I'm going to be using a shape from the All Legacy default shapes and I believe it's in objects. So if you come over to your in All Legacy default shapes and then you go to objects we're going to just grab this little bow right here and we're going to use that. So I'm just going to drag out this bow, letter V on the keyboard to select it and I'm gonna place it here. I'm gonna move this back over here. So I have my bow in place. I want my bow to look a little less perfect. So I'm gonna press Command and the letter T on the keyboard and then I'm gonna just choose this so I can warp it out a little bit. All right, so now that I have my bow in place, I'm gonna come over to my FX. This, these are my styles. This is the effect that I created for the bow. If you don't see your styles here, of course you come over to window and then uh, click on styles and those will come up for you. So we're just gonna click on this and that's gonna be our bow. Once I click on those styles, those are, those are pre-made styles, uh, but you can come over here and just see how I created that. If you just come in and look at the bevel and emboss, all of the settings are going to be there, the contour, everything that I did to create this whole, this style right here is going to be right here. So if you want to learn how to do that without having to watch a step-by-step -step tutorial, you can take that and look at every setting that I made in order to do that so you can recreate it on your own if you like. Okay, so that is the bow and now what I'm gonna do is add another layer and I'm gonna put this underneath my wreath and this is gonna be my snow. I'm gonna add some snowflakes around the edge right here. So right now this is a blank layer. I'm gonna come over to my brushes and um, I, 
made this snow flurry uh, brush right here and I'm going to use that to add the snow in the background. I'm using the color white and I'm just going to come through and add the snowflakes there. I'm going to go ahead and take the guides away so that we can see the actual design. So you can see how easy that is to create. Uh, we can add some text to this as well. I'm going to just type out happy holidays. And it's pretty big as it is right now. So bring the size of this down and you can either put it here or at the bottom. Okay, let me show you the text that I'm using for this. The text that we're using here is called Southfall Slant. That is a premium font and I'll give you a link to uh, get that if you like this font. But otherwise you can just use um, any script lettering uh, will work for this as well. I'm going to go ahead and close that and then I'm going to come back to my styles and I have uh, this style right here which you also get in the package. It's a gold text style so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and just add that gold text effect to the lettering. And again you can put it down here. Okay, so we'll just adjust the letting for that a little bit and uh, bring that to the center. I'm going to show you a few other ones that you can create as well. We're going to do a new layer and we're going to put that at the top. And I'm going to come over to my pen tool and I'm going to use the freeform pen tool and I'm going to make a Christmas tree. So this is very easy to do. You're just, you know, kind of making these wavy lines here. I'm going to come over to my work path. Okay, so I'm on my new layer. I'm going to come over to my brushes and I'm going to go back to my brush. So we use this pine brush. Uh, this one is a thicker pine, so I'm going to go ahead and use that one for the tree. Now, I, the reason I'm showing you the tree is because I want to show you what it looks like in different colors. But we're going to go ahead and change the colors. Our foreground color is going to be 539827. And then our background color is going to be 334303. Three, three, three. And we'll click OK. So it's just um, a variation on a green. We have a dark green and a light green there. We have it uh, at 100 pixels right now. We're going to come back over to the pen tool. I'm going to make sure I'm on a new layer. And then I'm just going to right click and a stroke path. I'm using brush and simulate pressure is unchecked. It looks a little condensed, <laughs> a little short, stumpy tree. So what I'm going to do is um, just click on it and command T. And if you're not happy with the design of the tree, it's just a matter of reworking your path. That's fine. Or you can do what I did and do use the transform tool. There's still some areas right here that are a little strange, but that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and move it lower down. And I'm going to grab that bow and put it above this because I'm going to use this as my star. We're going to go ahead and add lights to this as well. So I'm going to add a new layer right above the tree. And these are going to be our lights. So I also have a, a light uh, brush in this pack that I'm going to give you. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So these are, these are our just basic lights. I'm going to bring down the size. I'm going to reset my colors and I'm going to put my white on the top. I just want to be able to see where I'm putting my lights. So I'm just uh, clicking. Okay, so once you have the lights there, I have a layer style as well for the lights. So you're going to uh, grab this one. It's called the glowing bulb. And we just turned on the lights. So we have the Christmas tree with the lights. So I went ahead and reset my colors back to what we had before. I want to show you one more quick text effect that you can do using this garland as well, or the garland brushes um, as well. So I'm going to come over to the text and uh, I'm going to change this to Begas New.
Now uh, I'm going to hold down my command or control button. When you see the little square there, you can click. That's just going to make a selection. We'll go back into our paths and we're going to create the work path just like we did before. And now that we have that work path, we will add a new layer. We can turn that one off. We don't need that anymore. Now we're going to come back to the brushes and grab one of these brushes and click that pine. Mine is going to be 90 pixels. Either pen tool or direct selection tool is fine. And then you come over to the path, right click, stroke path. You'll get this option again. Uh, we're going to use the brush, uncheck simulate pressure, click OK. And now you have a text effect as well using that same pine brush. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business. Until next time, thanks for watching.